Well, Pat, it's great to see you again, bud. We go back a long way, went back to before 1987 yeah. when we were on the <laughs> Under-20 World Cup. You've retired now. Um, how was that for you? Was it difficult for you to finally hang him up? Uh, no, at 43, I think it was pretty much enough. Uh, it, was, it was an interesting one, though, because uh, uh, when I went to D.C. as a coach and I thought I'd retired and uh, we had some goalkeeping injuries and uh, unfortunately it was funny we didn't have any takers really from the league. We had a couple of guys lined up that we thought were going to come in and they didn't and uh, uh, the next thing I know I was thrown in there for a couple of games but uh, it was an interesting way to go down. Yeah, I bet. Well, now moving into the into coaching and into other roles, uh, how is that for you? Uh, are you excited about your new role here at Toronto FC? Yeah, I mean, here's more a, just a scouting role. I mean, I love my coaching experience I had at DC. Uh, I was very fortunate. Worked with a great staff with Chad Ash and Ben Olson and uh, Josh Wolf and the GM Dave Casper. There, I had a, had a lot of fun and enjoyed it. And uh, worked not just with the goalies, but also with uh, the rest of the field players. And had a bit of responsibility there. So. Uh, enjoyed that part of it, but I'm excited here for the new challenge. I think it's uh, uh, it's obviously a fantastic club, and uh, we all know where the, the club's been, and uh, we all know where we want to take it. So uh, I think we have, we have a goal in mind and, and a process how to get there. Now, you've worked with Kevin Payne in the past. Uh, that's why you're at D.C. You know each other very well, and why you're probably here in Toronto uh, as well. Uh, can you tell us what he brings, uh, maybe, that Toronto FC haven't had in the past? Uh, that's a good question. Like I said, I haven't been here for the six years. So, uh, but what I can say about Kevin is uh, he's a dedicated guy and he's uh, very committed to, to his club. Uh, at DC, he was single-minded. All the biggest thing he was concerned about was winning, uh, and that, that, you know that. And I think his motto was win championships and serve the community was his motto in DC. And uh, I know here for him, really, right now at this stage, just get this uh, team turned around and start winning winning soccer games, and uh, he'll do whatever it takes to get there. Have you had a chance to meet Ryan Nelson? Yeah, I had a chance to uh, have dinner with him the other night and stuff. Uh, played against him a couple times too back uh, when he started here. So uh, I played against everybody, I think, <laughs> at this stage. But uh, yeah, I got a chance to meet him and uh, he's, a, he's a great guy. I think he's uh, a, kind of a natural born leader. You know, I think he's hoping to lean on Fran from uh, uh, you know, the coaching experience side of things. But uh, in terms of leadership, I, I don't think he has to lean on anybody for that. I guess because he's still playing and he hasn't had a lot of time in North America over the last few years, I guess his, he's going to be leaning on and weighing on the, uh, the coaching staff and the staff in general for, for some help and for some... Yeah, absolutely. And I think the nice thing is, is you know, he's got a Jimmy Brennan who's been here for the six years, so he knows the culture of the club, a Jason Bent who's been around, and Stuart Kerr has obviously come in the last couple of years. So he's got guys that know the league, know the club, know the culture. And uh, they have good ideas about where they'd like to go forward. Uh, you know, the only thing I would say and is I think in the past is those guys, I think, have been a little afraid to be able to voice their opinion. And uh, you could definitely feel that with, with both with Kevin and, and with Ryan is they want your, their, their opinions, they want to hear everyone's opinion. And from there, that's when they'll make, they'll make their decisions. What is the strategy now moving forward? Uh, are you going to be looking more to the south or to the east in Europe? Um, is there better value for money in the south? Uh, in Central and South America than there is in, in Europe, perhaps? Yeah, I mean, Central America is a little bit cheaper. It's uh, easier to get them out of their contracts with their clubs or get a loan deal. Uh, you go to Europe, uh, the price is uh, astronomical, really. Um, yeah. uh, and hence the reason you see the older guys at the end of their careers, they actually become affordable, but unfortunately they're on the downswing. And I think uh, uh, the way the league is going and I think where the club wants to go is well, we want to try to avoid that now and start moving forward with try to find the younger guys uh, that'll that'll help the team and and uh, possibly you know could be assets to the organization as well